Okay, Google. What's the best YouTube channel? Okay, Google. Wrong. What is going on everyone, this is Wicked and today I will show you a simple way on how to convert the user interface of your Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus to a more stock Android style. Now, there are many ways you can already do this, by going and downloading third-party Google Apps from Google Play Store and replace the stock ones from Samsung with them, but that's a little bit hard and may take a lot of time and of course, at the same time may not give the same result. Today, I will show you how to install a Google Edition ROM which will bring you an entire stock Android interface with all the Samsung apps deleted and replaced by the stock Google ones. You may wonder, what will you lose during this process? Well, it's up to you. Samsung features and apps that you want to install can be selected in the ROM installer. The ROM also comes with just the stock Google camera app which compared to the stock Samsung one is rubbish but you can also install the stock camera app by flashing the zero camera mod listed in the card section. You will see those features later on but for now let me show you how to install this ROM on your Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. You will need to have TWRP installed. If you don't know what TWRP is or how to install it check the video in the car section. Boot into TWRP and here you may want to back up your current configuration if you just want to try this ROM and not use it afterwards. I have a video on how to do that if you don't know in the card section already. Then go to install section and select the Google Edition ROM. A ROM installer will pop up and I suggest you to select full wipe and here as I told you earlier you can select Select which Samsung apps you want to be installed along with the Google apps already baked in. Then you can choose a different boot animation and the routing method you prefer and at the end you should have the ROM installed. Do not reboot the device still because we need to flash another zip in order to be safe that the ROM will boot up. Go again into install and choose Notorious version 2 beta i zip. A ROM installer will again pop up, choose the same routing method you chose earlier and at the end the phone should auto reboot by itself. Bear in mind that the first booting process will take up to 7 minutes it so enjoy the boot animation. Again, all the files I use in this video are listed in the description. My phone booted up, I have put all my credentials in, played it with for a couple of minutes and I have to tell you this ROM really feels like a stock Android one. No bloatware, no Samsung apps, fast, smooth and stable. God, I miss this feeling. So the default launcher is the Pixel Launcher with the integrated Google Assistant. Inside of it you can find all the stock Google apps I've been telling you about and that's pretty much it. That is what I call a close to stock Android experience. Of course, I set up a dark theme to match the dark material color and installed the Pixel Love Bar which by the way you can find in the car section. Apart from that, everything was stock, but really smooth and fast. I also ran onto the benchmark just for fun because these days benchmarks can be hacked really easily and should not be considered as a huge factor in deciding which ROM is faster. But here's the score it got and here's where it is on my wall of speed with all the ROMs tested until now. Into the gaming test, of course as you would expect, Need for Speed No Limits and Asphalt Extreme ran without a problem. The gameplay was smooth, I couldn't really see any lag or whatsoever, so that the gaming performance was great. That was pretty much it about how to convert your Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus into a Google device. The wicked score for this ROM take in mind that there are no customization options and there are still some false closes in the wallpaper app is 3.9 out of 5. If you're looking for a close to stock Android experience for now, this is the closest approach to it. Anyways, this was the tutorial and overview for today, I hope you like it. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. As always, until next time, take care. Wicked is out. Bye bye.